Ah, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. This is Mr. Shakespeare here again with you on the 30th of March, 2023. I'm here with psychic medium Andrew Remo. Liz Cross, how are we doing today, Liz? Uh, very well, thank you. So you sent me a screenshot of a Patreon post um, regarding Pulse Chain. And although I didn't agree with all of it, I certainly did agree with a couple of points that were in there. And they were, to me, they were quite key points. Um, so uh, that leads me to believe that we should do another probe on Pulse Chain. Okay. Yeah, there were some valid points in there. Actually, the first point was, Liz, you said March, whatever, or whatever the date was, 2023. I actually caught that. So when Mr. Shakespeare was talking, I mentally went back in and actually corrected that. Yeah, that was, that was not one of the points I thought was important. I knew, you, I, I heard you correct that. No, that was not the point. I mean, the point was about, well, we'll get into it anyway, but no, that was not the thing that I was worried about. Okay, but hey, you know what? Valid points, and we're going to do the probe and see if we get different answers. I can't even remember what the answers were the first time. Who knows? And you're you're getting like me now because you do so many of these. It just goes in, it goes out. You don't remember anything. Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, okay, so all right, if you can grab Pulse Chain as an entity, please. Okay, I have them. Right. Can you put them out to uh, the end of March 2024? End of March 2024. So March 31st, March 31st, 2024, 2024, 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. What would you like to know? Okay. Has the completed chain been launched has the completed chain been launched no so there is nobody trading on the pulse chain network is there anybody trading on the yes there are people trading yeah but are they trading with test coins are they trading with you know dummy coins not real stuff are they trading with test coins dummy coins yes How near are they to launch? How near are they to launch? Well, at this point in time, they believe they're very close. Right. Was there any kind of launch or any kind of upgrade to the network, the test network, in September or the fall of 2023? Several upgrades. Right. Was there any rumor around that the main uh, launch was going to be in September or the fall of 2023, where people where the train would actually launch and there would be real trades done upon the tra on it? Real change. Yes, there is. But these guys are perfectionists, right? They're not going to release something that isn't absolutely 100% perfection. Okay. I think I got that before. Yeah, but you also got that there was going to be some kind of launch in September and the fall of this year. Mm-hmm. September. Well, they keep doing all these little test launches, right? Okay. Uh, right, my hold, friend Richard. <laughs> right, hold, hold, hold pulse chain for a minute and grab Richard. Okay. Take him out till the end of March 2024. March 31st, March 31st, 2024, 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. He's, As, um, he's really interesting. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. Interesting. He's a billionaire. Yeah. Oh, I know. But 
But you know what's so interesting about him? It doesn't face him anymore. Money doesn't face him. I feel at one point it did, but now he's gotten used to having money. And he's sort of like gone into this um, lifestyle of now I want to do good for the people. You know, I'll have more money than I can ever possibly spend. So it's about my contribution. Okay. Uh, well, one of the contributions is Pulse Chain. So what is the situation now in March 2024, the end of March 2024, with Pulse Chain? What's the situation in March 2024? They're still working on it. Why did he release information in March of 2023 saying that, you know, Pulse Chain could launch at any minute and we're on the final test net if they were, you know, if they're nowhere near releasing it? He was mistaken. <laughs> it, it's not. It's not. You know what he does? Let me tell you what he does. <clears throat> this guy leaves no stone unturned. I think this is where your perfectionism is coming in. He actually pays professional hackers to try and hack the chain. He pays lots and lots of different teams of people to tell him where the vulnerabilities are. Um, okay. He has lots. Uh, he must be very techy. I don't know. But yep. he has. Oh, he is. I don't know that. Um, but he has lots of people trying to hack the chain trying to hack whatever it is that's associated with the chain. How And what they do is they take that information and they improve it and they improve it. Then they retest, then they improve and retest, and then they improve. He He's a perfectionist and he has the money to spend on this. Most of these little rubbish coins out there or whatever, I don't even know what Pulse Chain is. Like, I still don't understand it. I know you tried to explain it. I, I don't get it. Um, but, you know... He, he, the money is no object to him. So for him, he will spend the money. Um, he will spend the money to make sure it's absolutely perfect. Okay. Mm. The other little rubbish coins out there, they don't have the kind of money that he has now. So they're, you know, they'll launch things and then things get hacked and things are a problem and whatever. He, he's not going to allow that to happen. Certainly not, uh, not under his watch anyway. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, hold him there. I look on your screen and find this guy on the right-hand side, somebody called Ryan Lohex. Okay. <clears throat> Put him out to March 2023. 24. Sorry, 20, that's my mistake. <laughs> Here we go. War and Peace on the Patreon. No, he had a valid point. I'm glad he picked that up. And I'm glad that the listeners are paying that much attention to us, too. Uh, let's see. March 31st, March 31st, 2024, 2020. This guy's on drugs. Uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. What would you like to know? Okay. Has Pulse Chain launched yet where people can trade on it? Has Pulse Chain launched yet where people can trade on it? No. Okay. What? When does he believe Pulse Chain will launch? When do you believe? Not till later on in the year. Okay. How's the price of Hex doing? How's the price of Hex doing? Uh, he's saying it's so-so. It could be a lot better. I feel like he's heavily invested in Hex. Right. Millions of Hex. Yeah. All right. Drop him, get this guy here, Corey, whoever he is. Corey? Can you see him? Yeah. Okay. Corey. Okay. <laughs> He's funny. Well, I'm trying um, to get collaboration from anybody. I don't know these guys from Adam, so I just did Hex influencers. I mean, I know they're all invested in Hex in one way or another, but they're not part of the Hex program or the Pulse Chain program. So I'm just sort of asymmetrically coming at it and just finding, you know, people who, I mean, who would know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, I would, but, great. Yeah. And and that's what you do best. You look for alignment. 
Um, yeah. Okay, let's go March 31st, March 31st, 2024, 2024. He wants to go to 26. I'm saying no, we're not going to 26. We're going to 24. Uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. What would you like to know? Has Pulse Chain launched yet to the point where people are actually trading on it, real trades, not using test coins? Has Pulse Chain launched yet when people are actually using real trades? No, test coins only. When does he believe that Pulse Chain will actually finally launch? When do you believe that Pulse Chain will? He says later on this year. So he's saying the same. All right. Okay. Find anybody else? Yeah. So it looks like they're still testing it. Right. No, this isn't the right one. <laughs> Come on. Um, find some other influencers. Uh, okay. It looks pretty certain. Why don't I move you out? Well. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you, you just you told me the same thing. You, all right, go on and move me out. Okay. I did. I did. Well, I was, did it with my mind. Um, you just told me the same thing. It's not out yet. And you find that quite frustrating. <laughs> well, yeah, because we've been waiting for it forever. That's the point. All right. Drop How me. old is Pulse Chain? It's not launched. I mean, it. You know, or the a, idea of basically what they do. Oh, oh it's over a year now, a year and a half, I think. Mm -hmm. Basically, what he wants to do is fork the Ethereum uh, blockchain and then give everybody copies of every, pretty much every, not every, but pretty much a lot of ERC20 tokens. So if you have HEX, you will, and that will be called then EHEX, you will have PHEX for Pulse HEX. If you have another coin that's on the blockchain that's currently on the Ethereum blockchain, you will get an identical copy on the Pulse chain. The idea of this is that you will use you will use and trade on the cheaper network. So the gas fees on Ethereum can be extortionate. They should be a lot cheaper on Pulse. Therefore, the market will take over. Somebody on the Discord asked me, do you know, do you only get half or no? You get an exact copy of it. You will decide which one you use, and the market will decide over time which one has the most use. I think Pulse Chain will be the dominant chain. Why? Because the, the the fees are so much lower. And if anybody that knows, you know, sometimes Ethereum fees can run into hundreds of dollars just for one transaction. It's a joke. Mm -hmm. Right. Last question on these influencers. Mm -hmm. I don't know if these are. No, I don't think these are. Uh, Johnny Chaos, okay. Can you see this guy here? I don't know who he is. Uh, the one in the hat? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Can you get a connection with him, please? Uh, yeah, okay. Push him out till the end of March 2024. 2024, 6 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Daylight Time. What would you like to know? Uh, has Pulse Chain launched where people are actually can trade on it with real tokens, real coins, and not the test stuff? No. When does he expect Pulse Chain to finally launch? When do you expect Pulse Chain to finally launch? Later on in the year. Nobody really knows. No, I know because no, I know. Does he have any hex currently? Do you have any hex? Yes, millions. All right. Which was the best month for hex between March twenty three and March twenty four? Which, <laughs> which month did it hit the highest price? Well, I got to ask this. Over. October. Okay. Did it get back to its all time high? Well, all time high. What was it? Oh, about 48 cents or something. Did it get above 48 cents? No. Above 20 cents? Above 20. Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. That's oh. what he's telling me. 
that's fine. He's a random guy. We don't know him from Adam. All right, that's enough pulse. All right, well, it looks like it's not launching this year. It's going to launch some point next year, so it carries on. There is one thing you could do. Mm-hmm. You can, I know you can do this. You can group. Oh, no. no. What? <laughs> when you say, I know you can do this, that frightens me. Well, yeah, I know you can. You okay. Can, you can group together all of the current hex holders, can't you? I can. The hex community? Yeah. Okay. There's millions of them. I know. Put what would you out. like to know? Put them out till the end of March 2024. March thirty first, March thirty first, twenty twenty four. They're not ha- They're not a happy bunch. No, I bet they're not. Okay, twenty twenty four, six p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. They're getting very oh. angry and frustrated. A lot of them are thinking of selling. They're tired of holding on. Right. Uh, uh, what would you like to know? Okay, well, you've answered the first question. Are they getting angry and frustrated because Pulse Chain has not launched? Very. When do they collectively believe that Pulse Chain will finally launch? They have no idea. Which was they the have highest? No idea. They're they're getting upset. Yeah, I bet they are. Which was the highest price month for Hex between March twenty three and March twenty four? They're saying September. Okay. September, October, so around the fallish, you know, USA fall, not Australian fall. Yeah, yeah. Um, so around the fall, uh, look for like maximum price increase. Listen, Richard Hart is a PR man, okay? And I want you all to know that, you know, the anticipation of Pulse Chain is good for business, it's Oof. good for the price. It's good for people wanting to buy into the coin, okay? Buying into Hex. Um, So all this anticipation and all this hype is actually very good. They believe... There will come a point where people are just done with it because they're fed up with it, you know? Yeah, and I agree. But, uh, you know... With the, they know what sells. They know what makes money, and it's yeah. the hopium. Hopium sells, and so lots and lots of people are are piling into this coin. Those yeah. that are in there already are buying more and more and more, as many as they can. They're selling other coins. They're buying into hex, and they're expecting like really big results. Well, this benefits hex and pulse chain all the way round. Cool. And and they know that, and they're making money off of that. Okay, the hex team they're making money off of all this anticipation. You know, if they want to make a million or a few million dollars overnight, all they have to do is say Pulse Chain is ready to launch. And, and are they doing that? Are they doing that deliberately? I think sometimes, yes. It's a way to fatten their wallets. And then they dump. Now, I'm not saying Richard Hart is doing that. Okay. But he knows what goes on. Whoever the team are around him, you know, he tries to encourage people to hold on to steak. But, you know, everybody's hungry. Everybody wants a slice of the pie. And, you know, bearing in mind, he probably doesn't even know what his team is doing. No. He, you know, they can buy cryptos anonymously. They don't have to say anything. But, you know, and I do feel like they get excited about the launch and, and they're, they're leaking information out there, right? They know who to leak information to. And it's creating a lot of hopium. And what that does is that puts a lot of pressure on heart. But I'm telling you, unless this is absolutely perfect, 100% foolproof, no errors, no hacking, no this, no that, it's not going to 
it's not going to launch. Well, I'm actually okay with that because I mean, he has then made the perfect chain blockchain. So from that point of view, I'll have I'll happily wait. So it's not the end of the world for me. Um, yeah, but a, a a lot of people are, you know, I want to be an instant millionaire, and I want to be an instant millionaire yesterday, right? right? There's a lot of hungry people out there, and yes, I agree, right? I agree with them. Of course, everybody wants to make money. Everybody does. Um, the problem is. They're they're getting when you get very emotionally involved in something that to that extent, that's when your soul comes in, brings all these life lessons to you, blocks you, throws you under the bus, you know, whatever it wants to do. And uh, it'll teach you some hard lessons. So just be careful when you're getting very emotionally involved in any investment. Nobody should have an emotional attachment to any coin. Okay, well, haha, that, uh-huh. one, that comment on Patreon got a, not only did it get a, a second reading on this, but dare I say, an even more comprehensive reading. Yeah, yeah, and thank you for that. I, you know, I saw that and I was like, oh, well, he does have some points. Can you look at this? And, um, you know, we, we don't dismiss it. Um, I don't like hate mail. I'm not saying what they did was hate mail, but you know, sometimes I don't mind, you know, constructive criticism. I really don't. If it helps to narrow down and get the answers, then that's fine. But hate mail, you know, uh, you know, I watch E entertainment and uh, TV and this is what they put out. The PR spin machine. Don't don't just save your, your breath and your energy and your fingers and don't type. (laughs) Don't bother. Um, but yeah, no, he had he had some good points. And, uh, you know, that's what I love about our group. That's what I love about the Discord. I was looking on Discord this morning and I'm like, guys, I am just so impressed with our group. Everybody's nice to one another. We're all working towards the same goal. We're friends on there. And uh, for anybody who's not on the Discord or on the Patreon, uh, you're missing out. What can I say for $3 and 50 cents a week? I, we put out a video this month to say, you know, the, about the cashless society. Uh, if you don't have access to that video, you're going to be left in the dark. That's all I have to say. You, you need to have that. Everybody should have access to that video and you're going to get access by joining the Patreon forward slash remote viewing and beyond. Anyway, uh, anything else from you, Mr. Shakespeare? No, that's all we need. Thank you very much. All righty. I'll stop this one here. Thank you.